Yeah, this is just how it starts. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Let's Play Astral Chain. Man, it feels like it's been a hot minute without a new Platinum game. The last proper one was Nier Automata in early 2017? Then DMC5 came out earlier this year and it scratched my character action itch, but this is Platinum, so there is plenty left to scratch for them. And speaking of Automata, a lot of the Nier Automata team worked on this, including Takahisa Tara, who might be a little bit of an unfamiliar name to you, but uh, being as this is his first directorial role, but he has been working as a designer at Platinum ever since Mad World, and he was a senior designer, uh, designer on Automata. But enough of that, we've got some cutscenes, we have some hype shit about to happen, we have some straight up Evangelion references, and so much more, let's go! Prime Core, fully seated. Activity levels at 35.72, 36.18, 37.95. No sign of chimeric transformation. Understood. The particle gun is online and ready to fire. Whenever you're ready. Let's begin. Strengths. Well then, have the next candidates been chosen? Yes, they have, but they're not from our usual channels. They're two new officers who just joined Criminal Affairs. Hmm. 
They're... They're Captain Max's children. The twin orphans he took in. I've seen their test results, and frankly, Doctor, none of our other candidates come close. I've already taken the liberty of filing for their transfer to Neuron. Hmm. I understand. Oh my god, he's just fucking Gendo. He's just Gendo. That whole scene was just an Eva scene. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Also, it's Yosef, but with a Y, and I hate it. I hate it so much. Even the suits are stylish. Uh, so, here, we can play one of the two twins, male or female. The extent to which this choice matters is pretty minimal. The one you choose is Officer Howard, and the other one becomes a support character called Akira Howard. Akira being a gender-neutral name. Officer Howard is silent, uh, but you can customize their look. I'm really hoping I can get a nice undercut. If I can't, then we'll go back to... Where was it? No, that's not an undercut. Yeah, we'll go back to that. That's cute. Um, yeah, uh, Akira Howard takes on the speaking role for the duo, and that's it. There are like one or two other minor changes later on. Oh, hell yeah. Perfect, 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 perfect. Love that shade. No, that's it. That's perfect. Nailed it. Yeah, let's, let's make a match a little bit. Let's make a match just a little bit. And we're done. Right. We're not going to spend that much more time on it. Now. Doctor, we've just received reports from the police of a confirmed gate opening in Central City. All available officers have been sent to investigate. I assume the twins are no different. Hmm. That will do. Let's consider this their field test. But, sir... We haven't even briefed them on the project. Never mind that. If they were to fail now, we couldn't use them anyway. Brenda, humankind no longer has any more time to waste on useless formalities. Look how goddamn gorgeous this game is! Also, notice how we're starting a lot like Mirror Automata. It starts so much like Game Pack, uh, in that it's a shooter vehicle section to start off and not the main mode Attention. of gameplay. We've got several eyewitness reports of gate openings in Central City, Zone 36. All officers, ensuring civilian safety is your top priority. If you see any aberrations, take them out and keep the damage from spreading. Repeat, calling all officers en route to Grand Avenue. Watch out for abandoned vehicles on the highway. The area has been designated Red Shift Level D. We've confirmed reports of civilian aberration. We have approval from the Union to use lethal force on any aberrations. Exercise your best judgment when engaging these targets. That is all. So the art has a really similar style to uh, Grasshopper's usual style. That kind of pseudo cell shading. This is just a lot more neon, a lot brighter, a lot more pop and verve to it. I'm trying to think of how I usually describe uh, Grasshopper style. It's like dirty cell shading. Like a kind of model. And a little, like, on-rail segment like this is actually a really perfect way to ease you in and to get those opening credits rolling. You can hear me, right? Where the hell are you? Come on, get over here now. And then they slowly ease you into the main mode of gameplay, the actual, uh, the melee combat. Although there will be more like this. Also, it looks so much like the Dominator from Psychopaths. Just a real big dumb gun. That's the theme of 2019, is big, huge, weird guns. It's like this and Control coming out within two weeks of each other. Control and the service weapon. Uh, it's a good-ass 
August into September <laughs> for games. So our files are gonna be kind of our verses. Not a complete standalone mission, just a little subsection of one. Uh, and from chapter two onwards, we'll also be getting our typical platinum letter gradings for how uh, we perform in those files. There's a reason they're turned off for now. God, the style! It's so good! The only weird thing about it, and you can just kind of see why from the detail in the world and the amount of things going on, uh, and how many particle effects there can be at a time, and lighting effects, uh, as we move forward. The game only runs at 30 FPS, which is really odd and... and Strange for a uh, for a character action game. It's unusual. It's the wheels. I can't move. So we're just gonna escort this, way. this boy to a stretcher. I love how the drones take the stretchers down to ground level. Everything seems to be fully automated. Doing well for all of like five seconds. And now, with our baton and our dominator, I think it's kind of, Oh, it's like Justifier or something. Uh, now we can properly fight. And oddly enough, differently enough for a platinum game, our main attack is on a shoulder or a trigger. And we have that lock on, so it's actually kind of soulsy in the button layout. You all right? We're a man down. Give us a hand. Let's get him. So all we really have for now is a standard combo. Uh, with our baton, we have the D-pad to switch out to our gun, and we have kind of a uh, string with that. Oh, that twirl is so familiar. And we have, an, or we have our evade. If you've seen any of the pre-release stuff for this, you know that there's, uh, there are a few really crucial tools missing from our belt right now that we're working our way towards. And the reason we get our flying enemies is just so they can better introduce the gun to us. Okay, so we have permanent and field supply items. Permanent items you can use any times they uh, any time they carry over between chapters, and the other ones are uh, temporary in that they will be reclaimed at the end of a chapter. 
So you generally, if you're going to use the items, you're going to want to use those first before you dip into your permanents. But it's character action game, so I'm going to avoid using them as much as possible. And we'll talk way more about ranking stuff as we get deeper into the game. Hey, oh, we're going to go so okay? deep into this. Stay with me. My leg. It's my damn leg. I can't move like this. Gate? Those gates are rad. But notice Who's how there? these enemies are different. Come you can see a little shimmer. Corruption levels just shot up over there. What's going on? But they have no hit stun. Targets. But whatever they are, you can't see them. And we can't lock onto them. them. Are you sure it's not just an aberration hidden somewhere? Whatever they are, get out of there now. That is all. Wait, hey! Don't you hang up on me! Damn! How are we supposed to fight something we can't even see? This is real bad. I don't know how we're gonna make it. in time, huh? Dad? Better put the reunion on hold. Max, you must let them use the Legatus. Wait, wait, wait a minute, Commander! What the hell are you saying? You cannot expect them to fight Chimeras on their own. This is an order, Captain. Don't worry about calibration. I've already loaded their personnel data into those devices. If you say so. Ah. Captain, are you serious? What is this thing? That thing will let you use a legion of your own. Uh, really hoped you two wouldn't get caught up in all this. Damn it, Commander. Uh, now don't go dying on me. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's a legion. Part weapon, part part. It saved my ass plenty of time. Oh. oh, this is so weird. It's like I'm feeling everything it feels. That means it's working. So I'm guessing you can see that thing in front of you now, too. That ugly son of a bitch is what we call a Camaro. The Ark's not so public enemy number one. A Camaro? The Ark's enemy? The device we gave you is a Legatus, an experimental counter Camaric weaponry. It's what connects us to the Legions. That connection is why you can see the Camaras now. On top of that, it's got memo taking apps, navigational aids, you name it. I've got solitaire on mine. It's really good. Oh my god, it's so good! Is this really the time to be geeking out, Jin? Listen, the Legion's wired to attack Camaras all on its own. Think of yourself as lion tamers, huh? Just keep your hands on the whip and you'll be fine. Look out, though. Legions aren't always the safest tool in the box. Keep them out too long and they overheat, which makes them cranky. You do not want to see a cranky legion. Trust me, your old man knows that from experience. Well, lucky for our dear captain, the Legatus' limiter keeps them from going from cranky to murderous. All right. The all limiters. Focus. So the legions. Here is where Astral Chain gets its flavor. That's what we saw op in the opening with not Gendo. Mm. And the game asks with this mechanic, what if V, but extra, but so, so extra? Elias. Sort of a pseudo boss for the opening of the game, or the uh, tutorial chapter. More of an elite enemy. And a chance to really, really get a feel for the legions. You get a little pop when you summon it at first. So it actually makes sense for crowd control to dismiss it and resummon it sometimes. And you also have the benefit of uh, Akira taking a little bit of the heat off of you. That meter, that circular meter you see next to Officer Howard, uh, the 155 over 100, that represents the, uh, the heat that was being talked about before. Right, so here we don't have normal movement controls or normal dodges. Every time you flick the stick left or right, you just tumble. Uh, also, none of these are one-hit kills, surprisingly. Whoop, like that. Split second too early.
And that is our opening mission. Are you okay? Really good tone setter. You nearly gave me a heart attack. Are you sure you've never used a legion before? You're already way better at it than Max. <laughs> I'm standing right here, Alicia. <sighs> but I gotta admit, that was something. The damn thing moved like it was a part of your body. Okay. Copy that. Understood. Well, that seems to be all of them. We'd better get back to HQ. All right. You two are coming with us. We'll try to explain all this later. Yes! Ah, it's so good! That's the way you open a game! Oh, so our temporary field items are gonna be reclaimed. And no letter grade at the end of this. And there's a reason for that, which we're about to see. Progressing our rank and gameplay style or change play style. Play style is our difficulty. We have casual and platinum standard, where we'll get a ranking and more difficult combat and fewer resurrection items. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.